Okay guys, so you may remember, or you may not remember, my video called Puke Cam. Um, that was a snippet from a review that I did of this very netbook. Um, I'm guessing this thing is from around 2011 or so. Uh, it's an Acer. It is called the Aspire 1. Um, it has really low specs. Uh, I don't even know if that's visible on screen, but uh, you know that we can all zoom into the videos now. You're probably able to see it. But um, the reason I'm taking the time to do this review is because I want to uh, I want to show you all the uh, full puke cam video, which I have I actually have three different versions here. So I don't know which one I posted that snippet from. I think it might have been this one, but I have this video and then I have this one so we're gonna go through all three and uh, I'm gonna sit here and make comments <laughs> at what I'm saying it's uh, this, this camera is just looks like I found it okay though Ooh. Is there is the volume on this? Yeah, no, I'm not sure where the mic is, but, um, yeah, so, I still have this puke green, kind of, uh, green. Sheen of everything. That is its top volume, everyone. The feeling's going to fly to the Wow. Yeah, it was back when I had hair. I mean, still technically I do, I just shaved it all off. Nope. Oh man, that clicking noise. We sure that is something we sure don't hear with modern versions of Windows now. They just totally did away with the sound. All right, so let me solve that one. Let's move on to this one. Yeah, I'm looking at the camera, dingus. Yeah, mic. I think the mic is this thing. I'm not too sure. I'm still not sure about that one. Yeah, that was some great editing there. Wow. Professional great stuff. Let's make this larger. Windows Movie Maker. Wow, I don't remember making this at all. <laughs> My name on there left hand here. Yeah, it's... it's the same video again. Oh, good job, past me. <laughs> Put the same yeah, video in there three times. Not once, not twice, but three separate times. Wow. Uh, I wish I could say I created these when I was like 18, but I, I didn't. <laughs> this was like maybe two or three years ago that I did this. So, relatively recent. Oh, look at me doing my Ashens impression. I'm trying so hard. It's like a, a valiant effort. 
All right, but uh, so my uh, three videos there, I'm going to leave those on there. And uh, I would have uploaded those three to my channel had I been able to. Now, I'm at a completely different location recording this. Um, and I did get it, I got it connected to my Wi-Fi, um, but I wasn't able to sign into YouTube because it's XP and it's ancient and unsupported so just looking at the specs there but yeah let's have a live demo what exactly is puke cam like the answer like that And this is as large as it'll go. Like, it will not go any bigger than this. The, uh, what is this, 640 by 480, I think. Yep. Uh, I do get a choice of, uh, of 60 hertz and 50 hertz, so that's something, I guess. But enough about the camera. It's bad. Hilariously bad, even for the time. I think we had smartphones with better cameras at that point. Uh, but I saw that this thing has something called Acer Games on it. <laughs> and that looked intriguing. So we're just going to go down the list here and see what these are. Where is it? Game Zone. Let's see, the first step, first step is a game called Alice Greenfingers, Bookworm Adventures, Cake Mania 2, Chicken Invaders 2, Dream Day First Home, uh, Fizzball, Galapago, Gold Miner Ve Vegas, Juliaria, Luxor, A Moon Rising, and Super Cow. I say that last one there, that's Super Cow. That, that one sounds amazing. We're going to save that one for, uh, for last. I'm just going to go straight down top to bottom here. All right. Oh, I got an error. What does it say? Uh, the the drive or network connection that the shortcut Alice Greenfingers link refers to is unavailable. Make sure that the disk is properly inserted, inserted, or the network resource is available, and then try again. Yeah, I'm guessing what I might have done is just cleaned this computer out a bit. I just wanted to get all the bloatware off of there, but uh, obviously the folder's still there. So, like, let's, you know what, let's just go all the way down to the bottom and try Super Cow because that sounds ridiculous. Well, I guess we won't know what Super Cow is like. But yeah, if anybody watching this, um, provided I do have people watching this, uh, if anybody has this laptop or another Acer similar from around the same time, and uh, does indeed have a copy of Super Cow that's working on there. Please link me in the comments. I, I really want to see what Super Cow is. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that it's not just like, I don't know, bowling with, with cows. I want to see like a, one of those just hack slash jobs where it's... Um, go delete this folder. Eat. Yes. Okay, what else do we got in here? Windows update. I'm gonna press that last. I am I am intrigued to see if this thing here, if this will upgrade to Windows 7. <laughs> And initially, I had the idea to upgrade it to Windows 7, but uh, one of my family members said that he wanted to use it, so I'm probably not going to be updating it. Oh, whoops. Looks like I just clicked on it. Oh, well. Let's see what it does. Uh, internet connection is required. Yep, not doing that. <laughs> that, that solves that. And there's my movie. Let's see here. I 
I honestly don't think there's anything terribly interesting on this. As I said before, I did clean it out. Um, now that I'm, I'm recalling that I actually did go through this. As initially, I just wanted to laugh at it trying to use the internet. <laughs> Turns out it's not that funny, though. It's just a lot of errors. Uh, Windows Live, wow. I had no idea that this was a software suite. Like, I had a calendar, mail, messenger. I knew about that. I used that back in the day. Um, Windows Live Photos, Writer. I didn't mean to click on that. I guess we're going to see what Windows Writer is, or what Live Writer is. This is an interesting thing. It has Bluetooth on it. And I did not think that Windows XP and Bluetooth existed, like, in the same time frame. I was just sort of under the impression that Bluetooth came a little after... Windows XP, although XP it was, uh, was it unsupported in 2014, so Bluetooth came around probably around 2002. So I guess that would make sense that it has Bluetooth on it. Might be kind of fun connecting a Bluetooth headset to it. Uh, let's just say, I don't have a blog. Yeah, no, I don't want to create a blog on Windows Live. But that site doesn't even exist. So I'm fairly confident it doesn't exist anymore. Let's see, we got Outlook. Nothing interesting there. Tour of Windows XP. <laughs> Bluetooth device not found. Good job, computer. Good job. Yeah, no, I'm going to see the Bluetooth on this. Might be interesting to see if I can connect my phone to this. Just to see what it doesn't do. Let's see here. There's the hardware. Phone and modem. Let's see if it's for a landline. Yeah, using the search on this, oh my, having, okay, so Microsoft putting, uh, like, the search bar down here for the later, more modern versions of Windows, absolutely great, absolutely great idea, um, because this search here was just not efficient at all, as you'll see, Bluetooth, U, E, T, O, O, T. I think I spelled that right. I'm kind of sitting to the side here, so I can't really see. Just like looking through my camera to, to see things. And my camera's sort of far too. I'm seeing so far over to the side. But yeah, this is going to take years. So I guess we've got time. Don't. Well, well, that's doing what it does. Um, I'm trying to think where the settings are, because I just want to go through all of the sounds this thing makes. Yeah, here we go. Sounds. <laughs> wow, portable media devices. Those have really, really gone by the wayside, haven't they? I think they still make iPods. Yeah, Apple still does. Um, I don't know anybody who uses an iPod, though. My iPod is just, uh, well, not so expensive paperweight now. It's, it's an old one. Oh no, it only has Windows default and no sounds. Yeah, I remember this just being this whole long drop-down list. But 
Now it's just like that. Oh, what does this do? Change the sound scheme. No, that does the same thing. Okay. Um. So yeah, not much else to this machine. Uh, that that's really. It's it's, it's that's that's really about it. Um. Task launcher. Yeah, there's some programs on here I haven't even heard of. Like task launcher. What does that even do? Let's find out. What does Windows Task Launcher do? Agree blindly to the EULA. Agree blindly to whatever that is. I really can't read that. Works Task Launcher. Oh, wow. Microsoft Works. Oh, that is a trip. I remember that. Oh, man. Guys, I think we just hit the... Uh, I think we just hit the, the whole... The, the, the whole mother load here of this computer. <laughs> just look at this design. Nothing screams early thousands more than just this design. Like, all of this. I mean, I think the aesthetic itself was called, like, Aero something. I don't know. If I'm wrong about that, uh, please do correct me in the comments, as always. Um, yeah, I don't know how to use this, and I also can't read what it says. I'm just going to blindly click on stuff. Here, cover letters, faxes, individual envelopes, see letters, mail merge documents, resume, resume, CV, return address labels, and stationery. Well, this is kind of like a print shop type thing, I think. Um, move into a new home. I don't know what the heading is because uh, I think I see, looks like it says projects here, so um, let's pick one and see what it does. I want to, I don't want the mouse to scroll first thing, uh, there it is, I want to plan a vacation because why not. And move slowly closer here. Try to set due date. Um I'll set it for the twenty first of April. And what is that? Oh, it's a checklist. That's not interesting. History. Uh, that's just what you've worked on in the past. I don't care about this anymore. It's totally not interesting in the least. Ah, here's Bluetooth. Here isn't Bluetooth. What is this? This just says my Bluetooth places. Let's see what happens when I click on it. I'll be lucky if I get one view on this video. I, I'll be honest, I would not sit around watching this. Maybe I'll just, like, put a bunch of emojis in here. Make it a little more interesting to watch. No, Bluetooth device not found. Okay. That is because I have nothing connected. Um, yeah, oddly enough, I do not see a Bluetooth icon down here in the system tray. And I didn't see anything in control panel either. What else do we have in the documents? 
Let's see, pictures. Sample pictures. Okay. Let's take some photos. Yeah, it's a good angle. Let's see my phone. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm way over here. Hello. I somehow remember, maybe this is just like me remembering incorrectly or, or misremembering this, but I thought that there was like a quick launch panel over to the side here and say these categories. And I see the quick launch is like down here, but that I was thinking it was more like modern windows. Apparently that is not so. This was back when Windows was nesting folders within folders within folders. So we have the documents, then we have all of this in documents. I wonder if there's any music in here. Oh, sample music. And the Beethoven Symphony and New Stories. Yeah, let's hear that one. Hear the little speakers really uh, working the hardest. <laughs> but, um, where are the speakers? At? Let's see. Uh, I was thinking at first it was these, but that's just the hinge, I think. Oh my gosh, did they put this on the bottom? You guys, I found the speaker, it's right there. That's enough of that. I'm, I'm not a fan of abstract jazz or whatever that genre is called. And then the other one's just classical music. Everybody knows classical music. Let's see here. Work with the task bar. What on earth is quick launch? Oh. That's just stuff that they pinned. You know, I never bothered to customize the start menu back when I used SP, XP, XP. So I have a choice of small and large icons, a uh, number of programs. Let's bump that up to like 10 for no reason. I'm not even going to use this. Opera. Notebook. Yes. Now the question is, how do we change the colors? I know that there's a way to do that. I'm just completely blanking on how to do that. Like I remember, I remember having tabs like desktop, and then, um, well, I definitely remember desktop. Let's see if I can find that again. Aha! That wasn't difficult. That's muscle memory. I did use XP for quite a while. As I'm sure many people who are my age, or you know, at least around my age watching this or older than me, 
we can all attest to have using this, using XP for quite a while. Now we're gonna set Bliss, because it's XP. Yeah, there we go. Stretch. Centered. Yeah. That's not bad. What I used to have is my, my wallpaper. This is a really weird image. I don't even know what this thing is. But it looks like a person that got sucked into a teleporter. And well, those look almost like images that I took. They're not, though. All right. Yeah, I don't like center. Stretch that. Up. I think I think it was actually called vortex. There it is. Right, let's do stretch, apply, and this is what it looks like. I think it's just supposed to be like light speed travel, but this here, that definitely looks like somebody just stamping there. Now that I'm not like 10 or 12 or however old I was when I used XP all the time, it doesn't look that cool to me. <laughs> Just looks, if anything, it looks a little bit creepy. Uh, yeah, I guess this one will do. Yeah, it's decent, I guess. Yeah, not much else to say about the software portion of this, so I'm gonna skip, I'm just gonna, I'm going to shut this down. Alright, and we can uh, take a little tour of this machine. So, got a little bit gunky. Um, the trackpad itself isn't actually like clickable, it's um, just indented. Uh, it's got one button here, but it does the left, left and right click. Um, it's the wireless. On the side, we've got an SD card slot, two USB, two USB slots, and I believe this is for a um, physical password key because this here is my gaming rig, and it's got the same little, it's got the same little port right there, and that's definitely for. Um, some sort of physical security key. So, I mean, they're almost the same shape and size, if not the same shape and size. Uh, you know, identical. Um, but yeah, that's what that is. Uh, around the back, we've got the glossy blue Acer, some scratches bottom. I just noticed that one of these is locked and the other one does not appear to be locked so I can just pull this battery right out. Maybe not. There it is. And here's the battery. Let's see what the capacity of this is. This is a Li-Ion battery, lithium-ion. 
This capacity is... This capacity is a paltry 5,200 milliamps. Yeah, that's about as heavy as uh, one of them portable batteries. I used to have a 500 milliamp one. Nothing too thrilling there. Uh, battery connectors. Nothing new. I wouldn't be anything new. This thing's ancient. Well, <laughs> you know, ancient by computer techs. A computer. Ancient by computer standards. Um, under here, I actually unscrewed this at one point to just look at the RAM. So it's just got the uh, mini uh, SODIMM RAMs, RAM, RAM stick installed. Over here is the hard drive. It's just a platter hard drive, hard drive disk. It's not a SSD or anything like that. The tech hadn't even come out back then, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, under here, I don't know what's under here. That is the mystery compartment and we are going to find out Okay, let's crack this open. Is it not literally? It is cheap. absolutely nothing inside of here yeah I'm not sure of what this connector is this looks very familiar and I know I've definitely seen something something similar when I've gone and done tech repairs in the past uh, but I'm just yeah, I'm not too sure like this is some sort of shield As always, uh, if you know what these parts are, please do leave them in the comments. I'm going to start annotating that. And since I'm really, since I'm curious, uh, let's take a look at the RAM. Look at the RAM, and we can look at the hard drive and laugh at how paltry the amount of storage is. I should have picked another screwdriver. This is not really the best tool for the, the job at hand here. Okay. Now I got the screw. on laptops with hardware in a place where I don't have a proper setup. Uh, it's just, I wind up just dropping things. All right, so we've got in here, let's see what the, this memory card is. Oh, it's one. It's only one, there's nothing else. Um, you know, I thought this shield looked familiar in here. So I want to say what goes underneath this hatch compartment or whatever you want to call this piece is um, 
Probably something memory probably something memory related. So Oh wow, we've got we've got us a uh one gigabyte RAM card. Yeah, this the, this thing's a real powerhouse. I bet this would have run Crisis in Ultra Mode back in the day. So that's topical. Pop this back in. Yeah. But there really isn't much to see in these types of machines. Uh, so I'm going to forego opening it up. But it just occurred to me that I missed this side of the computer, so I've got uh, we've got the Ethernet port, the VGA, the USB, sound and mic, or head mic and headphones. Do I sound and mic? Yeah, let's see. Let's take a look at this hard drive. Wow, this screw is like really easy to unscrew. I don't know what happened with that RAM screw. That was just that was fighting me. What lies under door number three? The hard drive. That surprised no one. Gotta stop ruining these surprises by saying what's under here. Oh. Another, another difficult screw. No, I'm thinking it's these cheap screwdrivers. This thing is just... I got these as gifts ages ago, and it's just chewing up the screwdriver. <laughs> and the screw is perfectly fine from what I can tell. Uh, that, that looks okay to me. Um, come on. Ow. Let's try the smaller screwdriver. There it is. Alright, taking out the hard drive. Looks like there was only one screw in this, but how does this pop out? Wait, this is the cage. Um, yeah, so... I mean, if I really wanted to take out the hard drive, which I really don't want to do, um, it looks like I would just have to take off all of this. One second, I lift it with my nail. No. All right, time to screw it all back together. I'm gonna try and speed up my editing this time. Cause, uh, I wouldn't want to see this in real time on somebody else's video. I'd just get bored. Um, I, I reckon there's going to be a lot of jump cuts going on. I think the worst part about being a content creator is the whole... I mean, editing is good and it's fun, but the whole editing process... Like, I don't like hearing my own voice for reasons... <laughs> but it, it just still sounds awkward to me and it, it's just like one of those things where it's like okay just do it and just focus on the edit not how your voice sounds um but yeah i don't know about this red lock i guess i guess that locks the that locks one side of the battery in okay that's uh that is not a useful thing. Right, let me see here. Oh. So, I uh, found out exactly when this is from. Because uh, one of my family members, he dated it. And uh, it's uh, from 2009, guys. I thought this was from 2011. It's even older. Uh, who knew? I certainly didn't until I just saw that. 
So yeah, um, this is the Acer Aspire 1 review. So if you did, if you did uh, stay here until the end, uh, as always, thank you for thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions or comments, or if I got something wrong and you just want to, yeah, uh, you know, sort of fact check, please. Uh, please do leave comments. Um, but yeah, that, that's it for now. So I'll see you guys in the next one.